This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters first. This video is sponsored by Haig Education. Use code ADJUSTERTV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HaigEducation.com. And by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjustertv. People post stuff on social media. I mean, it may or may not be, you know, legit. Uh, and even if it is, it may be only for a specific state or a specific situation or a specific particular relationship. Um, so it's I, I, it's it's hard to say. Well, you know, so and so doesn't pay very well, but and then versus this other person over here, the other factors that you have to take into consideration is, is that well, the fee schedule for this company may be lower uh, than this one, but in order to close a claim over here on the the with the lower fee schedule and it's not going to be by much generally speaking they may have 75 percent fewer things for you to do on the claim right so so whereas over here you might be getting paid more but you can only do four claims a day you know realistically whereas over here you're able to do seven right and so you're going to make more on this side easier process less you know, there are some companies that have like it's on the carrier side. I mean, they've got like it's it's the big ones, the big big companies. They have so many things for you to do on a claim that it's almost like how to even make money. But they may pay really well, but they're you're not going to be able to close very many of them, um, and it's going to be more stressful because there's more things to do. The file gets, gets kicked back by one manager, yeah. and then gets kicked back by another manager later, and it's like. Sometimes it's simpler. That's why people complain about the virtual stuff, right? The photo and scope. And I always have to ask, I'm like, well, number one, what are you, what, you, what are you doing, right? You're going out with your phone or your camera and you're, it may be a clipboard, maybe, and, you know, writing out a scope and you're taking pictures, you're scoping the loss. That's it. And you might get yeah. paid $125 a piece, right? You could do how many scope like guys are like get out there and they'll scope uh, all day long and they might scope six, seven, eight, 10, 12 in a day and then go back to their hotel room at night and write them up right till one o'clock in the morning. But if all you had to do was just the scope part and you go home and go to bed or back to the hotel room and go to bed and you're going to get, you know, half or maybe a little bit more than half of what the fee, the fee schedule was for the full claim. Why wouldn't you do that? Like it doesn't make any yeah. sense to me. So, um, so a lot of times, all you know, it's not all other things aren't equal. I guess I should say. So you, you can't really hold up two fee schedules and say this is a great one and this is a terrible one, because it could be that the great one comes with terrible process and piles and piles and piles of compliance, and it, it's it's a an act of God for your claim to get, for a closed claim to stay closed. Whereas this one, they fly through. Right. You're able to close a bunch and, and, you know, it's, it's, so it kind of comes down to how many can you close in a day, uh, which will translate to how many can you close on a storm? Because the more that, that they give you, or the more claims you close, the higher your production, the more they're going to like throw claims at you. Well, Carrie is, she's, you know, uh, head and shoulders out above in front of everybody else. Um, she can handle it. Let's give her, let's give her these 15 claims. She'll take care of them. Because, you know, if they, they look at your work, right? And then that's when they want to keep you busy. And they get this to tie this all together. It's like, she so got the customer service piece down, right? You, you're great with the customer. Um, estimates look good and you're fast. And you put all that stuff together and people will be knocking your, down your, on your door, especially if, if, they, if they learn about you, if they, if they get an opportunity to see your work, then they're always going to try to keep you busy because that's a rare combination to have, be good, a good customer service, good file, and then be fast. Those three things together are not common. Um, so, and I would say even on the desk side, um, at home, and there's so many, so many different ways that this goes, but some of the stuff that I've done, a file examiner could also be a file reviewer, right? Which yeah. on like a, a, a big major event, it might be that they just get warm bodies and they tell people, you know, Carrie, all we need you to do is make sure that the header's in there, to have the right price list, and there's no typos in the, the, the estimate. And that, that if, if you see that they're paying for 
a fence in, in the estimate, then they need a picture of it. That's all we need you to look for, right? And that may be, and that's, that's not rocket science, right? So it's not going to be that you're like going through the estimate and saying, well, I wouldn't have put, you know, 16 linear feet of this. I would have put 14 linear feet. You know, it's, it's not that kind of a deal, right? So the, if the front end entry level file examiner, file review is the dot in the I's and cross and T's kind of thing. Yeah. Is that, is that really a place to start that's going to, you know, propel you into moving up into something more challenging? In anything. Career, you know? I think honestly, anything can, anything can be a good start, right? Okay. Um, yeah. If you have, if you, yeah. Anything so if you have really in figuratively in this business, exactly. You know, so if you got your, up and you, they say you can, but this one seems so much more to have that potential and ability that I've, you know, when you think, you know, having a college degree or having this or that, um, sometimes it's not the case, but this does seem like definitely an industry where that, that, that rings true. So. Oh, for sure. Because it's volume based basically. Or, oh, this is what I was going to say. So, you know, in a world where you can be anything, be an adjuster. 